Hello again. We are back with Strongicus Maximus. Yes, insane difficulty. So excited to get back to this. I've been hanging out with my family for a couple days. It's been awesome. But, uh, now it is time for some games. We are. But let me get my stream manager pulled up real quick here. Get going. So, oh. right, so where we left off, we had finally started leveling up. We found some quests to do. We found uh, some enemies to fight that we could actually beat that gave more than 35 experience at a time. Very good. Um, we leveled up several of our characters. Um, we've got our Scald here, the face, at level 3 now. Our Dwarven Defender here, uh, our main character, is still level 2, but on the way to level um, As is our other fighter, still at level 2. Our Rogue here just hit level 3, uh, which before we finished up last time, which is really great. Um, and our Mage finally leveled up, so uh, he's still made of glass, but... Um, yeah, that's that's Jeff. He's just he's just a guy. Um, and then there is um, God's plan here. This is our cleric, the priestess of Tear. Yeah, she's especially in Baldur's Gate too. Uh, this cleric is going to absolute blast everything. We have uh, some pretty good stat lines, honestly, for what we rolled. Most of them are around eighty. Um, pretty nice. We did re-roll a few times. One of them we didn't really spend too long. Uh, and this is, for reference, um, with SCS enabled, so that is Sword Coast Stratagems. That is a, a mod produced by, I think, either produced by or, or hosted by the Gibberlings 3 um, and some other mod creators. Uh, it generally is a difficulty increase because it improves the AI of all of the enemies. So um, the Sorcerers do Sorcerer things, the Shapeshifters do Shapeshifter things, the Clerics do Cleric things, and so on. Um, so, especially on higher difficulties, this makes the game a lot more of a challenge, um, because in general, spellcasters were pretty stupid um, in, in with the original AI version, um, but this makes them actually use their spells, and a lot of the time, um, especially on the higher difficulties, they'll have spells pre-cast before you encounter them, so they'll have like contingencies set up and that sort of thing, like a powerful mage would. That adds a, a whole bunch of layers of difficulty to the game. We've also um, bumped up the difficulty of the end of chapter fights too, but those will be a treat. We'll definitely have to uh, probably do a few resets on each one of those, I'm sure. Um, I have played Baldur's Gate 2 with SCS on. Um, I have not actually played Baldur's Gate 1 with SCS on, so this is my first attempt at this. I'm sure we're gonna make it through um, because I have beaten Baldur's Gate 2 with SCS um, and I, uh, I have played this game and Baldur's Gate 2 and thrown a ball a bunch of times. This is one of my favorite games ever. Uh, if you haven't ever tried it out before, I must recommend it. It is simply incredible. So, uh, let's see. We do need, it looks like a little bit of healing here. Our pre-scroll. see, do we have heals prepared? I do have a heal prepared, but uh, I guess I should use it and then rest. And heal him. And then, right, do prep another heal. Right now, all we really want are heals. Everything else is going to be pretty mediocre until we get to a high level. We don't, need, we don't have level two spells yet. Let's see. And uh, we actually we failed to learn magic missile on our scald here. So unfortunately, the only spell the scald has access to right now is armor. Perhaps we can address that. Is it this cursed? It is cursed. Okay. What's that? This girl. Hmm. And we shouldn't use that for no. Jeff is almost out of ammo. That's another thing that we need to deal with. Okay. Um, well, let's get Jeff some ammo and grab a room for the. Don't worry that way we can get all of our spell slots back, and then we're gonna go do some questing. Uh, we are not quite all the way up to level three, 
And there are uh, several more quests that we could get done pretty easily while we're exploring and getting all the map locations opened up. So that will def those will definitely be worth doing to get a few thousand XP on your account. For Let's go ahead and... Oh, here, what is this letter? Um, so that is a bounty on our head. We're going to keep that quarter staff. Oops. Sell this gem. Alt, okay. Um, other than darts, I don't really think there's anything we particularly want to buy here. Do they even have darts? Yes, they don't have darts. Well, all right then, we're not going to buy darts. <laughs> but we can get a rest. Um, oh, we don't even, we don't really need healing, so we can just pick the one cost. Okay, so we've rested here. Uh, we've got all of our spell slots back, which are the, the few spell slots that we have. We're headed off towards uh, the south. Um, there is a quest that we could start and maybe survive um, to the north, but it's not worth it until we are more confident we won't immediately die to NKGs. They're pretty scared. So we are going to go south first. Uh, we're finally ready to explore the areas like around the High Hedge and south of that. There are some really good Chapter 1 quests there that give about 1,000 XP or more each. That is where we're headed. We are coming from the Friendly Arm Inn, so it's going to be a little bit of a journey. We may get attacked on the way. We're going to go all the way down here around Nashgal. And that will be good. Let's just try to go to Nashgale and see how that works. It worked? That's amazing. Okay. Um, so I think what I want to do here is me. to leave out the west side of the map. Yeah. And this unlocks this spot here. We could go to the carnival. There's some quests we can do there, but I actually am a little nervous to take that on because um, you get trapped in a quest and you have to finish it. So I want to make sure we're ready for that one. We're going to go to the left. We're going to try out the High Hedge and um, the stuff around that. I think High Hedge is south from here, if I remember correctly. Let me actually pull that map up. Um, oh, hey, we got someone here. Uh, hi, glad to have you here. Thanks for hanging out. Um, let's see. I did want to pull that map up. There we go. We're going south get well there's a few places that we really want to get to this one is i think like red cliffs or something something like that. and then if we go east this. from here i think that's the high hedge now all of these areas have some stuff to fight that we could explore and go do uh, there is this guy who's, I guess, going to pick a fight with us. Um, yep, okay, so this is the Null Stronghold. I am planning on doing this, so I guess we can pick a fight with them. Um, let's see. Let's try to lie with them. <laughs> Stop! You have trespassed on our territory. You shall not be allowed to leave until you have paid tribute. We demand 50 gold in tribute. Uh, we have no money. Sorry. No money? That is too bad for you. We let you go only if you win fight. Your best champion versus our best champion. Um, come on, let's do it then. Our best champion is Ludrug. Ludrug is me. Are you ready for fight? No matter. We fight now. Okay. Um, so, I guess God's plan can chill here. We're going to send Jeff. We're going to make him run. Because he pretty much gets one or two tapped by everyone. Strong, uh, Madame stabs a lot here. We're going to move back and have her range. Same with, uh, let's have Big Lee McSmackington step forward here. I'll step the face back. So, we have a little bit of a traffic jam here. Need to unfix that. So let's send Strong Kiss down this way. Um, let's keep Jeff going in this direction and try to get everybody out of Jeff's way because Jeff is made of glass. Um, okay. But we, Jeff is walking to the right, so we're going to issue an up like a command upwards to him, that should get him to change directions. Sort. And we want Stronger Kiss down here, so we're going to change Stronger Kiss's direction. Okay, this is looking much better. Much better. 
So let's send the face off in Jeff's direction. We're gonna get Bigly out of the face's way. I mean, we're just gonna leave God's plan standing where she is. Okay. Yep. That's good. And then Strongest can come around here. I think attack. Talk to Ludruk. I don't I don't know how to get Ludruk to fight me. So maybe if I just if I just attack him. That work? Uh why are you going after No, oh, no sir. I don't I'm confused by this. Uh, he seems to be wanting to attack the face. Which makes me really nervous for Jeff, because uh, I, I don't really know who's who's getting attacked when or why. Um, it seems- I'm surprised- why isn't he hostile? Uh, I guess... Don't worry about me. Okay, now they're hostile. That makes way more sense. I was getting pretty confused why they weren't hostile. Um... Uh, Okay. So, oh, we got a crit. Very nice. Um, so in that case, I think we're probably fine. Let's keep Jeff back here. Don't want him stepping up. We'll send some attacks over that way. That knoll is dead. That's good. Um, Bigly and whip out a bow and just start. Oh, wait, never mind. Third time then, they're gonna walk up. Got some misses. <laughs> Big misses rolling in everywhere across the board. Everybody misses. Except for one null. Um, can we get any hits? Is Okay, finally. Some damage. Let's go. More damage. Woo. Um, <laughs> okay, Jeff is just chilling. Uh, Alright, that's great. One down. Another. Let's go, Madam Stab's lock coming in clutch. Huge. Hope you're having a good time. Okay, so that was kind of a surprise, but it looks like we got some loot. We did get some loot. Nice. That's actually kind of a lot of money. Yeah, at this stage of the game, that's huge. Very cool. So we're going to come back here and take on these enemies when we're a little more confident. Um, but for now, I think I'm trying to go west. Sorry, east, not west. So we have this, which is still not High Hedge. Mm, this is another place that we're supposed to go, but it's not the place I'm trying to go. Let me take another look here. <laughs> Try this again. Wait, what? What? Invalid. Okay, one sec. Let me. I have the world map pulled up on my computer. It's not opening on my phone for some reason. The wiki is broken on my phone. I guess. Um. I can definitely look at the world map here. Okay, so that's the Dryad Falls. Okay. Oh, we should have gone north. All right. I see. Well, it's nice that we've revealed that area. We do want to go there. There's a quest there later on. But we should have gone north from this area to get to where we were trying to go. You want it? So let's do that. We can see we went there. Um, well, maybe we can get into some trouble along the way. Okay. Or we'll just find our way back to where we Why that link works on my computer, but phone. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, well, I guess we can't go north from here. Alrighty then. We do go this way. We're gonna wander into something. Okay, I... I don't know that we have to go through them. I think we can go around. They may attack us anyway. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna chase us. That's fine. I'd rather not walk through their village. Two of them isn't a big deal, but I don't really want to fight a whole bunch of them. Well, I guess they're not gonna. Attack. I bet we can go around. Bear, that might try to hurt us. Oh, hmm. That way? Darn. Looks like we can't. Uh, oh no, they did chase us. Alright, well, that's fine, honestly. They're pretty wimpy. Yeah, they're really scary in big numbers. Um, we would be forced to use Jeff's cast of sleep for sure if we got into a fight with a whole bunch of them. Just a couple. It's not too bad. Um, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's go back south and we'll just... We'll go west from Baragost. I think that's another way to get to High Hedge. Oh well, we gotta fight this. I've got get this. Over here. Okay, we took a little damage from the bear. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, everything's fine. Right, and are off. Let's go back a bit. We're just way too far south at this point. Um, and try going. I guess let's rest first. I think we can go here and talk to somebody and get a quest. Also, so let's might as well start this while we're here. Gonna be a little easier once we know our way around the world map. You want it? You've got it. Spirit of adventure. That's it. Man. Okay, so let's get a room. Actually, go first. Just make sure that. Make sure that we're always in tippy-top shape anytime we can be. Since we're in a town anyway, it's only cost of gold. Rest it up. Get on out of here. I've got this. <clears throat> you want it? You've got it. Okay, so uh west is where we want to go. Oh, we didn't talk. I don't think we have to talk. I do believe we have to go come back to collect the bounty. There is a large bounty on the head of a certain cleric. Silas. He is south of the high hedge, so uh, yeah, and there is like in between the two places we just were, 
there is another place that is south of here. And apparently it's inaccessible from the south. It would seem. Okay. Here we go. Skeleton, okay. Um, skeletons are all but immune to piercing. Let's just keep you back. Have our bludgeoning weapons go in. Okay, that's actually kind of a lot. I think the face has any strength. Jeff has no health and no mirror, no mirror image. I think we just have to rely on our tanks here. We could try to turn. I don't really think we have. I think we have the levels to turn. Let's try. Oh, that actually worked. No, I guess uh, they were just. That's just, probably just SES. Uh, this party there. I've got this. Oh, hey, they're turned. Nice. I love the uh, pure class cleric for specifically that reason. <laughs> it's the ability to turn certain things. Need that. Ooh, throwing daggers. They're very. <laughs> those are pretty expensive. Like, they're throwing weapons. I've got this. Not bad. Those. Very cool. Alright, so I believe. His name's on And is this the Red Canyon? So I've got maps on, on the wiki that are ostensibly complete maps. But it doesn't match what I'm looking at here. Yeah, I don't know how to, uh, how to interpret that. Why does it not match the actual game? Okay, so this looks correct. to me. There would be like just an incorrect map. I wonder if they changed it for Baldur's Gate Enhanced? That might be it. Hmm. It's just weird that the, uh, it doesn't show up on the wiki. This would be the... But unfortunately, it doesn't tell me which one of the two is the place I'm going for the quest, so I guess we're going exploring. You have been waylaid by enemies and must 
Defend I got yourself. this. Yeah, Face is getting attacked by a wolf. All right, all right. Like the warg is going after God's plan, that's good. Have God's plan when I go back, and we'll have these two engage. Also, my this back. Okay. One should be good. Fine. And we're at. Hopefully, this is the correct place. I mean, this looks like a map that could be called Red Canyon. Potentially, this is it. I genuinely do not know. Apparently, the map that's first on the Google image search results, it lies. Is not correct. Your life ends here. Okay. Jeff no longer has any darts, but that's fine. He wasn't really doing any damage anyway. We'll just have him stand there. I've got this. He's just chilling. He's hanging out until Baldur's Gate 2 where he'll eventually do something. Um, oh, there's a chicken. It's talking. Thank you. Pluck. You have saved me. I guess it's like a... Me. Uh... <laughs> I fear I have taken one too many blows to the head. Next I'll be hearing hamsters speak. Uh, thank you. Yes. That was just what I needed in my hour of need. You laugh it up while I learn to cope with passing eggs. Oh, shit. Um, my apologies, good, um, chicken. What has caused your current accursed state? Uh, <laughs> think the mother of all magic. Mayhaps I might, mayhaps now I might end this nightmare. I am... Millicamp of Baragost, a mage adept in the mystical arts. A misread incantation. This seems to be the source of my troubling form. It's been over a month since I uttered a polymorph spell, and I simply cannot return to my normal form. Um, hmm. I don't really know what to do about that. Is there anyone that might be able to assist you? I fear I have little in the way of magical power myself. Blast it all. Well, there is nothing else I can do except my most hated option. There is a tower directly to the west of Baragost, about which can be found the mage Thalantir. Thalantir? I am his apprentice, and I am certain he will aid me. Um, west of Baragost. Well, that would probably be the high hedge. Um, then to his abode we shall go. I shall escort. Okay. Uh, thank you. It's located just to the west of Baragost. The land here lives in a large manor there. I'll just nestle in your pack until we get there. I have a chicken. Um, alright, I guess... Don't worry about I don't know if that means this is the right map or not, but I have a chicken. We're going to the high head. Alright. Got a quest. This is one of the quests. I remember seeing this on the list. Do that. Um, oh, God's Plan leveled up. Okay. Alright, so we did finally get a level 2 spell here. So there's some good options. Very good options. But if we only have... We start with 3. Bark skin is pretty awesome, but it, it really gets a lot better late game. Honestly, we probably just want to bring more heals. Um, at this stage of the game, this is probably what we want to do. 
just because more heals means more fights. Fewer rests of field. You can just do a lot more a lot faster. Uh, okay. Well, once again, we don't really have... We can't really do piercing damage. Here do bullets. What is bludgeoning? A missile. I don't have that. Oh, okay. Well, kind of a lot of them. Let's have God's plan run up and start turning. A couple of them turned. That's another one. Have our cleric keep turning. Okay, uh, I guess there is a knoll here. Can do piercing damage to that. Can do. Very well. But uh, I don't want God's plan to get caught out here. There's a lot of knolls. Okay. Um, I've got this. Reposition a bit here. Let's think about this. So I wasn't extra additions to the fight and this skeleton is hiding for some reason um i think we just ignore it for a moment and try to reposition as you wish fine these gnolls are going to come through here along with the skeletons there we go and we want to block them off just like that so now um, they can't really get through. And I've got to plan stand here, even. And, uh, yeah, that's completely blocked off. But then... By bringing God's plan forward a little bit, so now they're all in melee. Just have them wail on this first guy. Second, we'll just have Jeff stand around, because again, he is he's pretty much just a normal guy in Eventually, he'll be like summoning planetars and stuff, but um, that doesn't happen. Sometimes he will cast haste. Eventually. Hey, that's good. Good. A uh, bit of a bit of a dog pile there, so I'm gonna send God's plan here after that one. I'm just we need to get somebody onto melee with that, and God's plan is kind of damaged. Go here, Those split targets. Also get a ranged attack on that. We're gonna have uh, crossbow just two. Okay, there we go. Crushing damage really good against skeletons. Flashing damage not so much, but it works. Oh, wait, this is a uh, is piercing damage? Oh. Well, Bigly Mix Mackington does just a lot of damage anyway. Okay, there we go. I think that's all of them. Very nice. Now, um, Madam Stabs a lot can actually use these throwing daggers. She has dagger proficiency. Those are great for her. Really good to be picking these up for free. Okay. Let's see, let's see. A little damage here. We've got some heals left. Drop a heal here. Probably okay for now. Don't worry about me. Save. Power. I assume this is the place we're supposed to go. Um... Hmm. So that looks dangerous. That looks like the kind of thing that would make you die if you die. Hmm. Interact with it. There's runes on the floor. Anytime I see runes on the floor, 
in Baldur's Gate, I'm thinking this is some kind of puzzle that if I do it wrong, it's going to do a bunch of damage to me. Let's try to walk, like, around. Okay, yeah, there's there's enemies in here. A oh, flesh golem. Oh, no. Um, do I even have magical weapons right now? What? Oh, man. Uh, can we leave? Can we leave right now? Um, because I need to, I actually do need to heal. You want it? Um, I need to run. Like, I, I'm pretty sure this thing is going to chase me. Uh, okay, uh, so we're going to try to position here. I need to get my squishies out of the way. I'm going to send Jeff back here along with the face. Let's run away. Yep, there we go. Sorted. I get them positioned right before um, that comes out in case he does. I think... I'm pretty sure that Flesh Golems just require any magical weapon, and we do have some magical weapons. I definitely want to double check if that is the case before we try to fight one. Make sure we can actually damage this. Plus one, yeah. Just any magical weapon. Um, so we have a sword that we do not have proficiency in, and there is also order staff. There we go. So we have a couple of magical weapons. We can do this. We have two magical weapons and a heal. Let's see about taking this on. Um, two to go forward. Long guess to go forward over here. But these two are the one. Sorted. See if we can aggro this. Literally nobody else can damage this thing. Well, let's send God's Plan up because she does have a heal left. We may need it. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, but we're doing a lot of damage back. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. She needs to run. Um let's drop that heal. She has one hit point. Wow. Thing hits on an 11. Okay, but it's almost dead. If we can land a couple hits on it. Oh, it didn't die. Oh, we got a hit on it. Oh, man. Wow. Please hit. I think he needs to run. Ah, oh, no. It's not what I wanted to do. I may have just thrown. I, I, I hope I didn't cancel an attack. But Strong's kids needs to run while she attacks. And hopefully she hits and it dies. That's... that's... oh, come on. Stop. Please. Okay, she's attacking. As long as I didn't cancel it, it should roll. Crap. I issued a, a, a missed command there. Okay, we're gonna try that again. I, uh, I accidentally told both of them to walk when she was had started to attack. It canceled her attack and for the entire round, so we didn't actually get to roll attack there. Uh, it's still crazy. That might not win, but we can try. Good amount of XP if we can beat it. Try it again. Okay. Um, let's see. We really just need to send these three in. Let's see. Everybody else is useless here. Oh, actually, you know what? We could maybe... It does so much damage. We could maybe use them as meat shields. Oh, um... I guess it's coming after us. Uh, Alright, so these two... Need to fight it. Get over here. It missed! Okay, that's actually really good that it missed its first attack, because this thing hits on, like, really low rolls. Um... Another miss. That's really good for us, actually. Third miss. Okay, what is happening? But then we miss. Ouch. Double miss there. That's really bad. This thing cannot hit us for some reason. Okay, we've gotten extremely lucky so far. Yeah, there's there's some damage. That's to be expected. Let's start dropping a heal there. Just so she can stay in the fight. Oh, man. Um, and let's bring her back. Okay, actually. Um, As you wish. Bring her back. A simple matter. Oh, she might not be able to run away. Up micro here. Oh, I think we squeaked her by. 
just in time. Yep, okay. So I'm pretty sure that she cannot get attacked now. Let's run her back and we'll get that heal going on her. Yeah, there we go. So he's body blocked, so let's attack now. Okay, and hopefully he survives another hit. Oh, okay, nope. So that's our main character. Agony. Ah. We'll get it. We'll get it. That was both extremely lucky and extremely unlucky at the same time. Um, and also, we do have a couple more meat shields. We um, which might be a good idea. Let's try to do a little bit of damage rotation. I think that will work better. Let's have Big Lee and Strong Akis not be the targets of the first couple attacks. And let Madam Stabs a lot face each take one hit. Whoops, that's not right. Can do. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, there we go. So ideally these characters will each take one hit and then be able to run away while these two can take advantage of that time to get onto this target. Okay, it hasn't actually decided to attack anything yet, so um, let's have the face just pointlessly fire a bolt at it. Okay, so it's going to attack out of stabs a lot of things. All right. Well, that's fine. Um, we just need to make sure to get our melee characters on. Okay, so Madam Stabs a lot ate that hit like a champ. We're going to send her out. Great, we got a hit. Um, so now we want to send the face to try to body block a little bit. And um, Madam Stabs a lot can just chill. I don't know why God's plan is outside here. Okay, what is happening? Um, why did it come outside? Why am- why is God's plan outside right now? I'm very confused. Um, this is not what you might call the plan. Um, okay, so God's plan took that hit like a champ for no reason. Um, but I think we're still okay. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Okay, nope. Uh, I think he's going after the- well, actually, this is fine, I guess. But, uh, not ideal. Pretty sure that's- damn. Ugh, I don't even know what happened there. Like, how did we wind up outside something? This is just such a horrible place to be fighting. Ah! Face palm. Again. Okay. Um. Here. Anything we can do to make it easier. We have a bard song. I think it's immune to sleep. Yeah, I think the best thing we can do is just damage rotation. But does it? Maybe it does chase us outside. Like, wait here for a sec. Shows up because it would be much easier if we didn't have to fight it in that hallway. Maybe I can bait it. <laughs> Come on, please, please stop being in here, sir. Like, what? Can, can you come here? Okay. What? How, how does he, like, out here in front of me somehow? Ah! Don't worry about me. Um, so I would really rather, I guess, okay, well, we know that this happens now, but I don't think this is about to go well. Um, ah, wow. Immediately, like, turns on her. That's, how did he beat her out here and gets to stand in front of her? Like, it's just awful is so so bad so i yeah i think we're looking at another reset here but at least i understand 
what the interaction is gonna be. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, she's just dead. Yeah. That's frustrating. That's really frustrating, actually. I don't know, part of me wants to move on to a different area. Like, we are taking on this fight really early. But, like, also there's, like, everything is going to be hard at this point. Until we get to level 3 and beyond, everything is going to be really, really hard. So it's not like anything is going to be much more consistent. It just is ridiculous that it came out in front of her. I don't even know how to, like, plan for that. <laughs> like, what? Easily done. I guess we stand in, like, triangle here. A simple matter. Right, what's this then? Yeah, I mean, the thing is that we have to get whoever the... We have to get whoever this is out before. Right, what's this Flash call. I think it just is mandatory that that happens. Okay. Sorted. Then try to, try to do some damage rotation here. Um, okay, so... Ideally, it attacks anyone other than these two. Okay, it's attacking Madam Staps a lot. That's good. Um, so we're going to let her take a hit, and then just have her run, and try to body block with the face. Okay. We get, we're gonna, okay, we get a miss, that sucks. Um, and then we're gonna back up with Strongicus. Oh, please, yes, alright, I think we body block successfully. Um, and we're gonna get another couple attacks in. Okay, so there's the face, once again. Okay, we get a couple free attacks here. Um, and hopefully that's enough. It looks like he's aggroed onto Strongicus now. Okay, and Strongicus can take two hits pretty well. Third, if we get this heal in. Okay. Theoretically, we can still kill this. Yes, that's really good for us. A hit, that's really good. Yes, ugh. It's close. Whew, we did it. Okay. There we go. And here we see this XP drop. This is why it's worth it. 2,000. Ooh, that is a massive XP dump. That's more than two quests. Um, so absolutely huge that we finally got that. It cost us more resets than planned. Um, but worth it. Our fighters are almost level 3 now, just off of that. Uh, and... Yeah, ooh, that was, that was nuts. So, uh, we did it. We did it. Uh, and are in bad shape. Two of our characters are really badly hurt. Um, kind of far. See, we need to get out of here, I think. I think we need to try to travel. And get to an inn, because resting out here is going to be really dangerous. Let's grab this loot while we're here. Be anything. Right. Okay, so the plan worked actually. We, we, we figured it out. Figured out that fight. Uh, when we come back, there will not be a flesh golem there. That's gonna be nice. I've got this. Okay. So we need to go to an inn here. And uh definitely rest and heal and then maybe rest again. Uh, because, ouch. Yeah, was that? Oh, right, we have a chicken. We need to deliver. Can't rest for too long, actually. Oh, Damage oh, rotation worked, then. Very interesting. Yeah, I mean, if we had tried that <laughs> at any suitor, these characters would have just died in a single hit. They came out of that with two and six hit points, respectively. 
Thanks. Don't worry about me. Let's get a royal room. It's much healing. Don't have royal. Room. That's fine. A little healing. Then have more heals. But now we can cast Cure Moderate, which you can see is amazing. We have several of those per day. So that is awesome. We have much more healing now. Okay. So, so, so. Let's go, let's go beat Stick some stuff until our fighters have leveled up. I've got this. I mean, at the very least, 2,000 XP. So, hopefully this is the tower that the chicken needs to go to. I don't know, it doesn't really look like a tower. Slash. Jeff is going to just chill back here. Everyone else is going to go do everything. Oops. Oh, right. Um, I'm using the wrong weapons for no reason. She's back to their proficiencies. Better? Yeah. Should tear these guys apart pretty quick. Fitness is in there. Oh, that's a short sword. This is for a quest. Quest item. Okay, cool. We did a quest. Um, neat. You want it? You've got it. We'll have to go give that back to Purdue. We have killed the flesh golem here. Um, there was another guy. There was a. There was a dude in there. Is there another flesh golem. It's another. So it'd have more heal. Seems there's not another. Probably a good thing. There's another flesh golem. Okay. Well, we have more heals this time at least. The problem last time was we had only one heal. I think we can do this in one heal. But let's take the same approach as last time. Now that we have an idea of, of what will work. Let's take these three and try to lock him in. Don't worry about me. Where is Jeff? Oh, ha. <laughs> I mean, he's not really useful for us right now. <laughs> well, he, let's let's bring him over so he can watch. Make sure he doesn't get mauled by a bear standing out there alone. Okay, so we want it to aggro onto want it? these two. Fine. 
Yes, we want wish. two standing over here. That madam stabs a lot here, ready to body block, I guess. So we'll have it come out, attack the face. Hopefully not one shot the face. And then the face will run. And Madam Stabs a lot will try to body block. And then hopefully it hopefully Madam Stabs a lot won't get one shot. And ideally we've landed a few free attacks at this point. And we can rely on Strongicus and Bigly to do the damage while God's Plan heals them. Barring like crits or a bunch of like misses or something, this this should work. This do it work last time. We'll give it a shot. Um, but let's. You want it? You've got it. You want it? You've got it. My friend, terrifying. <laughs> Time to go. Um, assume it will follow me out. I didn't actually shoot an, a bolt at it, so I don't know if it will. I don't want to go back in. It's like, what if... Oh. Hmm. Well, this is a predicament. I guess we go back in. I don't see it. I've got this. Okay, well, that is the mage we're looking for. Now, I wonder if we talk to him, if his flesh golems would not attack us. Possible. Where is this flesh gold? Wasn't there one there? Okay, yep, there it is. Just come come fight me. Like 2000 experience. Flesh gold. Okay, um, I guess it's in the doorway because I'm walking the wrong direction. Is it following me? <laughs> What's going on here? Please. Come this way. Oh my gosh. Wow. Run. Okay. Running. Run. Oh no. E oh, oh, okay. Well, she is body blocked. Um, I mean, I don't know if this is salvageable because I don't think she can get out. Oh. Yeah. Wow. 40. Okay, well. Hmm. <laughs> I spoke it into existence. This is my fault. I said that we might get crit. That's on me. Okay, um. Let's try talking to this mage. Another set. Like, come on, that thing does 40 damage. Please tell me this thing doesn't, like, stab me to death. Hello. By the Palantir, a mighty mage of Baragoth. I have your chicken. What? But I have a chicken, though. Do I have a chicken? What am I supposed to do here? This chicken wanted to be brought to him? Can I use it as like a quick item? No. Mm. I'm on it. Maybe it'll. Maybe you'll only talk to me. Okay, there we go. It just has to be the main character. Um. Oh yeah, here we go. I sincerely hope you have some reason for bothering me. I've already stated that I wish you to leave. Well, it's rather amusing, actually. You see, I happened to rescue this um, talking chicken. Chickens do not talk, but quite obviously it is a polymorphed being of some kind. Spells such as this, uh, spells such as that wear off in time, or can be dispelled. It's a simple matter and not worth the waste of my day. Keep moving. Uh, I am quite aware of the mute status of chickens, thank you very much. Yes, this is a transformed man. But is it is also a man who claims to be your apprentice. That is why I brought him here. Apprentice? I have no apprentice. I teach no one about what I. Wait, Mila Camp? 
Mila Camp, is that you? Yes, Mallet Master of the Land here. It is I. I am no master to you, and you are no apprentice. What gall you have to expect help from me? Uh, he is not your student, but you do know of him, do you not? A student wishes to learn, while this fool wishes only to have knowledge. I will tutor no one who does not understand the ramifications of what I have to teach. Not getting the quick gratification he wished, he instead chose to steal from me. <laughs> you speak of so much, but show so little. I only wish to learn a fraction of the power you possess. It has taken me some fifty-odd years of life to gain the power I wield, and the will not to use it. You are but a baby in comparison. Frankly, I'm surprised you changed into such an old chicken. How did you manage that, by the by? You were muddling the simplest cantrip when I last observed you. I have progressed much since then, and I borrowed a few items to speed the process. As I thought. Well, it's obvious you can steal my tools, but not my understanding of them. Hold still while I dispel this foolish facade. Can't very well get my property back while it's propymorph polymorphed into you. Wait a moment. I did not possess any items that allow the casting of that enchantment. Wait. Oh, dear. Millicamp, listen very carefully. What did you take? Uh, nothing too valuable, I swear. Just some components, a few scrolls, a beat-up pair of bracers, a blank spellbook, some parchment, a pair of... Oh, no. You little fool. The bracers in my locked and trapped safe? I certainly hope you can develop a taste for chicken feed, because you are going to be stuck the way you are for a very long time. I know I stole from you, but you can't leave me like this. Please, Master Delantier, please. It is not a matter of whether I wish to help or not, simply that I do not have the power to undo what you have done. Uh, what sort of item could ca cause such a problem for even such a mage as yourself? The magic that so many revere today was not always the same as it is now. Any adventurer worth his salt should know this, and know that not every bauble they ring from a dungeon will be helpful. The bracers in question were a vain little reminder of... Well, it doesn't really matter, what does it? Suffice it to say that I have no idea what their intended function was, and I was in no position to ask their former owner. Years have passed since my release, and the spoils of that netheril ruin remain as enigmatic as ever. They resist even the strongest divination, and attempts to dispel result only in explosive consequences. Some things should just stay buried. Um, is there nothing that can be done? I'm willing to help however I can. If you are willing, then I will do what must be done. We will need a component that I do not have on hand, and it will be your job to get it. I will require the head of an undead creature. A simple skeleton will do. Bring it back here, and I will try to bend a few magical rules to reincarnate this foolish boy. Um, reincarnate? But does that spell not require the recipient to be dead? Uh, there must be a dead element. Yes, that is what the skull is for. I cannot fully explain what I am to try, but it's something of a reversal on the reincarnation scheme. The age of the enchantment that changed you may allow for a loophole in the laws of magic. Of course, it may just kill us both in the casting. Eh, such is life. Off you go to some dungeon or, dungeon or another. Return with the skull. Go. See, so we did find some skulls Don't worry about me. relatively recently. Side. Um, Don't worry about me. I guess that did make the, uh, the flesh golems passive. Well, that's good. They won't kill us now. Um... Hey, a skeleton. Perfect. Okay. Go, go, go. Um, Jeff is gonna not go in. Hang back here. Then go in. And then have God's Plan turn everything. There we go. Couple turns off. I just need one skull, but we might as well kill this pack. Right, what's this 
Okay. I'm on it. Let's get a skull. 